we thought we'd start documenting our moving process before we go on our big trip. We're renting out my condo fully furnished, which means that the only things we need to move are our personal belongings. And we figured that we could save some money, not hire a moving company and just move them ourselves on weekends and do trips up and down as was convenient for us. Today, we're gonna be bringing up some things that we're hoping that we're not gonna need for about the next eight weeks. We're gonna be bringing up the Instapot, the toaster, the roasting pan, these decorative pillows, these other decorative pillows, select items from these drawers, select items from these drawers, these three pieces of art, this piece of art, and lastly, this piece of art. It is Monday, February 20th. Happy family day. Nick and I decided that whenever I am going up north to work, which is pretty much any other day other than today because it's a federal holiday, that I should focus on bringing just small amounts of our personal belongings to my mom's house so that we can possibly avoid some weekend trips to save time and money on fuel. So when I go up to work tomorrow, I do have a break in my day when I will head to my mom's house. So I am gonna pack up just a small amount of things. I can't be taking huge amounts up by myself because of course I have my physiotherapy table and I can't put things on top of it, especially if I'm not heading to my mom's house first because if I have patients, it means that I would have to take everything off the physio table, take the physio table out of the car, then do the reverse when I come back to the car after the patient. So just small amounts of things that can kind of fit around my physio table or in the footwell or on the front passenger seat. So this is what I'm gonna be taking up tomorrow. I'm going to be taking up these two pieces of hanging wall art, all of these little knickknacks in Nick's office. And I'm gonna take this piece of art from above our bed as well. It is Wednesday, February 22nd, and I have another break during my work day. So I'm gonna head to my mom's and drop another little package off with her. So slowly clearing out our apartment one thing by one. Today I am taking some of my summer shoes up to her house. Next up, we're doing some clothes and some shoes. So let's go.
this is the current state of things after the first round of stuff that we did. Everything in the black bags is going to be going up to Rachel's mum. So everything that is over my suitcase right now is everything I intend on packing and taking with me. That is obviously provided there is room. And then finally, everything that is here in and around the white bags is stuff we're planning on donating. And the black bag that you see there is Rachel's. As you can see, she's already started on packing, so she's already a step ahead of me on that one. And so next up, we're going to be taking the black bags down to Rachel's car so that she can transport it out to her mum's. Don't worry though, those big piles of other clothes that you saw are actually going to be my clothes for the remainder of this month before we then move up north. This is our storage locker, and when we were putting the three bags in the car, we realized we had more room, so to be efficient, we're taking this van up to my mother's as well. It's Sunday, March 5th today. We're making a special trip up to my mom's house in Newmarket, and this time we are taking stuff up from the storage locker. And continuing on from the storage locker, we're going to take up some of Rachel's clothes as well as a few extra odds and ends. another weekend which means that we're heading up to my mom's again today it is March 12th and I think the plan today is to take the rest of my clothes pack up a lot of the kitchen and also take our gym equipment up we'll see what else fits but that's it Sunday, March 19th, and we're making another trip up to my mom's house. We're of course not taking Dante, but we've kind of sorted everything into categories of what we're taking up today. So one of the categories in this bag and box is like our junk drawer. Everyone has one, right? Then we have linens. We also have hangers, winter shoes. We have hats and scarves excess jackets and you wouldn't know it but in those boxes are exercise equipment so we're gonna go load the car up it is the 25th of march today our penultimate weekend in the apartment today we are taking kitchen stuff bathroom stuff and finally some office stuff
we're also taking up the two bags that we're going to be using as our carry-on as well as our personal item bags sorry buddy you can't come with us but we wish we could take you Do you see how efficient we've been over the past few weeks, then I have basically been living with one fork, one knife, one spoon, a teaspoon as well, just in case, a couple of glasses, one for water, one for beer, two mugs, a wok, a chopping board, the knife locks over there by the way, and some utensils, some chopsticks, because I do love my sushi, one bowl, one plate, and finally, a towel. But now it is time to pack all of that away and then whatever else we can find around the apartment and shift it up because we are now officially moving out today. After a few weeks of everything just gathering dust, all of this is now going to the charity shop. So this is now our very nearly empty apartment. As you can see it's pretty empty there's still a little bit of cleaning to get done which we'll do next weekend but the vast majority of the rest of our stuff now in here it's crazy to think that even after this many trips up and down there's still so much stuff in here but We've pretty much got the job done. Now to head up to Newmarket. After however many weeks of moving, honestly, like I've lost count because it's been such a lengthy process at this point. We are finally done. And this is the contents of our tiny little apartment in my mom's basement. I do not know how we had so much in our small apartment. This really puts it in perspective. It has been a very long labor of love. All things considered, I think we can be really proud of our efforts and certainly I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks babe. I would say we were very efficient with moving. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only way we really could have been more efficient is if we'd like had a moving truck. Yep, agreed, but that would have cost a lot of money and we don't really have that right now. But for now, everything from our apartment, excluding furniture, is in my mom's basement, where it will stay while we're abroad. Amazing. Well, that's the first step of the big journey, so until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Now it's time to pack it all up, along with any other, anything.